Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. In this video I'm going to show you how you can run almost any Linux application as an actual program inside Windows. So the first thing we want to do and the key to this is we want to install a program called AND Linux. So just go to www.andlinux.org and then just select the downloads button and you'll see a couple of different versions of the program that you can download but the one that we want to get is called the KDE version so just click on a link beneath that and uh, just download it and it's about seven it's almost 700 megabytes so give it 30 minutes to an hour to download but whenever it's through just open up the installation setup and and go through that for the most part throughout this setup the default settings are fine but you can adjust them to whatever you want but one thing it, it does make you do is create a shared folder so if you already have one you can uh, type in the name of that shared folder or else just create one I'm gonna create one called file share and you can create it pretty much anywhere and then just right click on it select sharing and security and then share this folder on the network and then just type in the name of this folder inside the installation setup and that's pretty much it for that then just continue through the installation and whenever it's through it's going to ask you to restart your computer so go ahead and do that and then once your computer starts back up you're gonna notice a little KDE icon menu and uh, this is going to show all your different Linux applications. But what we want to do for now is share files between Linux and Windows. So go to the AND Linux folder inside program files and open up settings.txt and then add what you see below to the bottom of the file and then save it. This is going to tell it to share the C drive or to mount the C drive. So then go to the KDE menu and open up console and type in what you see below. Make sure it's exactly what you see below. And this is going to mount the directory or make the directory and then type in pico to edit the fstab file and uh, go down to the very bottom and add what you see below again. And this is going to tell it to mount the C drive to the folder we created. Then just type control X to exit and then hit enter to save the changes then just close out of it. Now we're going to install an awesome Linux music program called Amarok. So right click on the KDE menu and go to Synaptek and then just go to search and search for Amarok and click on it to mark it for installation. It's going to tell you all the files it's going to install. So uh, the next thing we want to do is type in uh, libmad0 and this is uh, gonna help us play the mp3 files because Linux doesn't do that by default then do the same thing for libzine mark it for installation once you have the, all those marked for installation just go ahead and apply the changes and uh, give it a little bit to install and whenever it's through just go ahead and restart your computer um, I didn't do that here for the sake of time but then go to conquer and services select applications and then go to the multimedia and then open up Amarok. And now you can uh, click on collections and settings and find your MNT C drive and then select your music folder. And now you should be able to play music and, uh, and if you did everything correctly you can hear it and then just mess around with Amarok. It's a really cool application. You can find out stuff about the CD uh, you can run scripts to find the lyrics or you can click install script to install more um, and this will pull up the lyrics for any song that you're playing and it will also pull up the Wikipedia information about the artist so it's awesome and um, you can install any other Linux program like that but that's it for this for more go to tinkernut.com